What's up, everyone? It's the Andy Son here again with this week's Raw Score. We begin tonight with a recap of last night's Royal Rumble match where John Cena came out the winner. Then, Cena comes out to do a promo about his pectoral injury that should have sidelined him for a year. He said that he risked everything so he could go to WrestleMania. He then challenges Randy Orton, who's still the WWE Champion, to a title match for tonight. After some back-and-forth verbiage, Orton says that he'll defend the title at No Way Out since Cena can't wait until WrestleMania. Cena still isn't satisfied and says that he'll get some tonight. We then go to commercial. I give that a 4 out of 10 for a fairly predictable promo. The first match of the night is a tag team match with Ashley and Mickie James against Jillian and Beth Phoenix. This match was short but sweet. There was a good amount of very interesting moves in this match. The Glamazon picked up the win again with a hanging fisherman suplex on James. Seriously, the men should really take notes on what these ladies are doing in the ring. I give that a 7 out of 10 for another good women's match. After that, we see Vince and William Regal talking about the upcoming matches for tonight, I think. I give that a 3 out of 10 because I really couldn't understand a word of what they were saying. After commercial, Regal comes out to address the crowd, and he makes a little flub. Lol. He's so excited. Anyway, he says that there will be an Elimination Chamber match at No Way Out to decide who will go to WrestleMania to face the WWE Champion. Regal then announces that Umaga, Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho, JBL, Jeff Hardy, and Triple H will be in the match. Then, commercial time. I give that a 6 out of 10 for some really good booking. Back from commercial, Carlito goes up against Cody Rhodes, who's apparently one half of the Tag Team Champions, along with the Hardcore Holly. I gotta say, I'm really digging this Rhodes guy. He was really giving it to Carlito tonight. Fortunately, Carlito won with the backstabber when Rhodes was distracted by Carlito's manager. I give that a 6.5 out of 10 for an impressive match by Rhodes. Then, Triple H and HBK are shown discussing their match at No Way Out. Trips then says that he needs a tag partner for tonight and tells Sean to suit up. I give that a 6 out of 10 for a quick and kind of funny promo. Back again from commercial, we see DX come out to face Umaga and Snitsky. Right before Triple H was going to grapple Snitsky, Trips gets on the mic and asks if anyone has a Tic Tac or toothbrush for Snitsky, which prompted the audience to chant, Brush your teeth! Brush your teeth! That was hilarious. The match itself was pretty cool. HBK took some choice bumps tonight. Drips picked up the win with a pedigree to Snitsky with much applause. I give that a 7.5 out of 10 for an awesome match with DX. After the match, we see Orton and JBL discussing their upcoming match. Not much else to say here, really. 3 out of 10 for a bland promo. Coming back from the break, we see Todd Grisham interviewing Jeff Hardy. Hardy says that he still wants to be the WWE Champion. Then, we cut to Vince talking to Hornswoggle about his loss at the Royal Rumble. He does some nice McMahonisms and tells Hornswoggle to get out. 6 out of 10 for a great Mr. McMahon moment that saved us from retod. After break, Mr. Kennedy faces Brian Kendrick. These guys put on a great match, but it was far too short. Mr. Kennedy won this match and then announced that he's going to end Ric Flair's career. In response, Nate comes out and says, good luck and woo! Seriously, he did say that. I give that a 6.5 out of 10 for a potentially awesome feud. Back again from commercial, we have Melina versus Maria. This match wasn't nearly as good as the other women's match, but it was still okay. Maria wins with an awesome roll-up. Maria and that guy she's with reminds me of Sable and Mark Miro. A lot. I give that a 5.5 out of 10 for a so-so women's match. Afterwards, Jericho's interviewed by Retod. I really don't know what to make of the oddly serious Y2J. On one hand, I kind of like that he's branching out as a character. On the other hand, I miss the wise crack in Jericho. I give that a 5 out of 10 for a good promo and an on-the-fence character change. After the break, the main event starts with Jeff Hardy and Jericho facing Orton and JBL. This match was pretty good. Hardy pulls out some neat offensive maneuvers. Jericho also tore JBL up with some of his classic moves. Snorton puts a halt to the walls of Jericho with an RKO that actually connected. Lol. JBL pinned Jericho to win the match. Cena came out and laid into Orton and finishing him with an FU. I give that a 7 out of 10 for a great match by Jericho and Hardy. Tonight's war wasn't half bad. They really need to cut back on the commercials. I mean, come on. Nine commercials in a two-hour span? Overall, I give this week's Raw a 5.6 out of 10. See you again next week. Andy-san, out.